Hey everyone, Alex Camilio here. Thank you so much for joining us. I am super excited because this week I am answering a question that I get asked all the time, which is, after working with some of the top agents from all over the world, what is the one best strategy and the common thread that runs through all of them? Now, after hearing this for a while and after hearing this question um, come up over and over, I decided to take some pause and really think about what that common thread is. And while it might seem pretty simple, but stick with me here, and that is you need to focus on the money. Now, I know, like I said, this might sound really simple, focus on the money, but what we find is that most agents are not doing this correctly. Most agents are out there chasing the wrong things, going after the wrong things, and feeling like they're constantly chasing listings and not necessarily sure where that next deal is going to come from. And what I mean by this is that most agents out there are working the wrong audience. They're working the wrong set of people to deliver themselves um, the best business. So here's what I mean. So let's draw something we call the real estate success pyramid. And this is going to help us figure out who those targets are, who those best people are to go after. So we're focusing on the money and I'm going to draw this here. Now, at the very, very bottom of this pyramid is the general population. Okay. So we're going to say this is Gem pop. It is everybody out there who may or may not know you. They probably don't. They have no idea why they should work with you. And you're in competition with all of the other agents that might be in your market. Now, that is a super, and we're going to say low quality here, okay? And we're going to bring that up and talk about high quality at the top, okay? So general population, very bottom of that pyramid. The next thing we're gonna do here is draw the next one up, and that is your fertile niche markets. If you're working a specific neighborhood, if you're working a type of community or community group that you're involved in, those types of things are what we call fertile niche markets. They're a little bit better than, than the general population, but they're not anywhere close to the quality of lead that you should be working. Now, after that, we get to the next set of the list here, which is transactional. And what that means is these are folks that may be coming in from ads. They may be coming in from a sign rider. They might know a little bit about you, but they're still a cold lead. And in reality, they are the middle, the absolute dead middle of the quality of lead that you could be generating. Now up here at the top, and what we suggest people working, and really is that common thread and that best practice throughout all of the top real estate professionals that I know, the most successful and most respected real estate professionals, is they spend their time working these top two sections of their list. And we call this section the power list. And that power list are your friends, your family, your past clients, maybe your college friends, um, all of those folks who already know and maybe like you and you've started building that rapport with them. That power list sits right up at the top. Now from that power list, we actually call this right here the invisible asset. And what that means is this is the top 20%, top 20% of your power list, of those friends. And that means the most highly responsive, the people who are your raving fans, the people who like every single one of your posts that you put out, those are your top 20%. And what we call the invisible asset. Because the top agents all over the world have built their business, have truly built their business right here by following up with their power list and their invisible asset, that top 20%. So 
We see this all the time. We see the top agents in the world do this. We see a lot of agents miss out on this. And what we're doing in the article today is not only covering why it's so important and how much more money you can make by focusing on that list, we're also giving you a bunch of ways that you can easily go out, create your own power list from your contacts, and even actually generate some revenue while you're doing it while you're following up with them to get even more pieces of information to do a better job of following up. So we are giving away, first of all, a handout um, that you can go download to help you build your power list. It has a bunch of great reminders and a checklist you can go right through to build that power list of yours to get ready to follow up. And then secondly, we're including a template letter that you can use to reactivate the people on that power list as well as even generate some business at the same time. So go over, check out the blog on agentinnercircle.com. There's a bunch more content there as well as the handouts that I mentioned. But first and foremost, you got to change that mentality to the point where you are focused, truly focused on working your power list, your top 20%, that invisible asset first, because they are your highest quality leads as opposed to spending the bulk of your time cold calling, Facebook leads, all of those sorts of things. So change that, focus up here, and fall into that group with the top agents all over the world.